Well, hello everyone, and welcome to what is going to be the first part of a four-part series. As you may already know, as a part of Central Control version three, we introduced the teleprompter, which has already been adopted into many of your setups. After a variety of teleprompter-related questions started popping up in the Central Control users group, link to join in the description, we thought it might be a good idea to address them all in one place. And that's what this series is going to be. For part one, we're going to be looking at how you can create and load a script into the prompter. Now, rather than creating the script inside Central Control itself, the prompter actually reads from either a Microsoft Word or Google Docs document making it very easy to write scripts without learning any additional software, perfect for volunteer use, etc. Now, there is some special formatting we can use in scripts to create either a segment or an action line. And to understand what both of these are, we're going to take a look at this example script. Let's take a look on my laptop. So this is actually the script I wrote for the uh, demo for uh, IBC in Amsterdam last year. And you'll see it's got some lines, it's got a load of text, me and Ollie having some kind of silly discussion back and forth about this software. Um, and some of the lines uh, start with a dash, an end with a dash, or a hyphen. These are segments. And what segments allow us to do is, as we'll see later, is they let us easily navigate around the script once it's in the prompter. And some of the lines start and end with an asterisk. These are action lines, and these are what enable the automation in the teleprompter. We're going to cover that in a later video, how you set that up, but it is probably the most powerful feature of this teleprompter. So looking at the script, we've got loads of segments uh, and loads and loads of these action lines. So that's great. That's kind of the anatomy of one of these scripts. So how do we load it into the prompter? So I will start by showing you the Google Docs method. I personally prefer Google Docs for this because I can update the script in Google Docs, and it will, in real time, update on the prompter. So let's take a look. The first thing that is important is that the script needs to be set, the document needs to be set so anyone on the internet with the link can access it. Now, I understand for some of you there may be some security concerns with this. And if so, we probably recommend that you use the Microsoft Word version instead. But for me, I'm not really worried, so I'm going to use this. This is fine for me. So I'm going to click Copy Link to copy it to my clipboard. Moving on to Central Control itself. So for those of you who haven't seen it or used it before, I've started with a blank project so we can share this experience together. The application is entirely modular. You add uh, and remove modules at will as you need, depending on what you're working on. So I'm going to start by clicking this Add Device button, and it brings up this menu. And I'm going to scroll down to Google Docs Teleprompter. And I'm going to click OK to add it to my project. You'll see that there's a load of parameters in the side here. The only one, two that we really will pay attention to today is the document URL. You can probably guess what that is, and the font. So I'm going to start by pasting in that URL that I copied in the doc earlier. And I'm going to keep my font at Arial, but it is important to know that you've got a wide range of fonts that you can choose from. In terms of the other parameters here, we will cover these in the uh, part of this series where we look at outputs and how to get the prompter onto a display for view by the talent. But for now, this is all we need to do. I'm going to click this toggle switch here on the Google Docs prompter to start the prompter. You'll see in just a second, it loads up the teleprompter interface, and it has loaded my script. You hit play. We can navigate through the script and speed up. And I will, the second part of this series, will look at operating the prompter. But for now, I just want to give you an idea of how uh, we saw the triggers and the action, and the, sorry, we saw the segments and the action lines. And I want to give you an idea of how that actually translate once it's loaded into the prompter. So I'm going to turn the size down a bit. So if I hit play, you'll see we've got our intro. And you'll see that that segment is marked out 
with this white background and black text to differentiate it from the rest of the text. And segments, as we mentioned, allow me to navigate easily through the script. Let's go back here. You'll see um, right after segment three, I have an action line. And those are uh, formatted by, it shows it with a red background and white text. So we know something is going to happen when we hit that line. So that's how they look once they're loaded into the prompter. Now, I also said that it was possible to load a script using a Microsoft Word document. How do we do that? Well, it's much the same. So if I go back over to my computer, I'm going to click this Add Device button again. And I'm going to click on um, Word Teleprompter. That's the one I want on this occasion. And I. Instead of document URL, you'll see here, I actually have a browse button, which lets me browse the local file system. So I'm going to click browse. And because I'm an organized kind of guy, I've just put it straight on my desktop. So I'm going to click this, load it up. And again, I can turn the teleprompter on. And that is that. I've got the exact same script loaded up. Uh, the only disadvantage is the slightly older revision. Um, the only disadvantage is that this doesn't update like the Google Docs one. So if I load the Google Docs version, let's see, let's just take it back to the start. You'll see if I edit this script, we'll say we're talking about central control version four. Very ex exciting, <laughs> learn to type, exciting new features that I can't discuss right now. And you'll see right on the prompter, it has updated just like that. So this is a great benefit because in theory, someone else that has no access to the central control system, a producer could be working on the script in the background and they don't have to learn central control. They don't have to know how it works. They just need to know about segments, action lines and write their script. So that'll do it for this video. Um, the next part is going to cover a general operation of the prompter and how to map controllers to it. So stay tuned. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching.